Hello, ni hao. In this lesson, we'll continue to learn the rest of the Wu group finals. First, let's take a look at U E I, which is pronounced wei. Wei. It's just Wu plus A, wei, like wei to go. Wei. When U E I wei stands on its own, it's spelled W E I. We learned before that when you answer the phone in Chinese, you say Wei, right? Hello, Wei. Wei can also be combined with other initials. For example, the word GUI, Gui, means expensive. GUI, fourth tone, Gui. You might have noticed that when the initial G is combined with UEI, Wei, the spelling is GUI instead of GUEI. Here, the E is dropped. Remember this rule. In pinyin, UI equals UEI, and vice versa. So whenever you see UI, please mentally add an E and consider UI as UEI. So GUI Gui is actually short for GUEI. All right, Gui. Let's take a look at one on the pinyin chart to help you visualize how it works. Here is UEI roll. In the first column, you see how it looks when it stands alone, and it's spelled as W-E-I, Wei. Then going down the row, we see how it looks when it's paired with other initials, such as D-U-I, T-U-I, etc. All right. The next one, spelled U-E-N, has the same two spelling rules. So it's also a little tricky. It's pronounced Wen. Wen, it's u plus n. Wen, wen. When it's used on its own, you change the u to w, making it w e n. If you give it a fourth tone, wen, that means to ask. Wen. When it's combined with other initials, then you keep the u but drop the e. For example, the word that means wheel in Chinese is lun, lun. Second tone, L U N, Lun, is actually the U E N final, but the E has been dropped, Lun. Again, don't ask me why. That's just the way it is. Just remember, U N equals U E N, and vice versa. Let me show you on the pinyin chart. Here's the U E N roll, and here's how it's spelled when it stands alone, W E N. And in the rest of the row. You see how it appears with various initial sounds, spelled U N. Okay, the next one is U E N G, pronounced Wong. Wong. It's U plus Ang. Wong. This is a unique one. Why? Let me show you on the pinyin chart. Look at this. W E N G Wong on the first column is the only syllable that exists on the entire U E N G row, so you only need to master this one and you are set. All right. Last one for this lesson is U O, pronounced as W. It sounds like W O in walk or O in oil, but make sure there's a strong U sound at front. Okay. U O is W. What? Also, please don't mistake U O with O U. O U is pronounced as O, and U O is pronounced as W. Also, as we learned before, when U O follows B, P, M, and F, these four initials, you should know that U is dropped, so the spelling becomes B O P O M O and F O. Bo, po, mo, fo. When you see these four pinyin, you should automatically know that you gotta put a u in the middle. All right. So these are pronounced as bo, po, mo, fo. Get it? When it stands alone, it's spelled as wo, w o. For example, I or me in Chinese is wo with the third tone, wo. U o can also be combined with other initials. For example. The word zuo means to do or to make. Zuo, z u o fourth tone. Zuo. Now you should know why w o wo rhyme with syllables like luo, 
guo, tuo. Even though they have different initials, they rhyme. Good job. That's all for this lesson. I will see you next time. 再见。